Samsung's about to do something bold with the Galaxy S26 Ultra, and it might finally justify keeping that same old 200MP camera sensor for a third year in a row. Here's the twist, Samsung is reportedly sticking with the Isocell HP2 sensor, the same one found in the S24 Ultra and S25 Ultra, but it's pairing it with a brand new F1.4 aperture. That's a serious upgrade over the F1.7 in previous models, and if you care about low-light photography, this small change could have a big impact. Why does this matter? Because in smartphone photography, light is everything. A wider aperture like F1.4 lets in more light. That means better night shots, less noise, more detail, and generally cleaner images even in tricky conditions. It's not a gimmick, it's a physics advantage, and in real-world results, that could separate the S26 Ultra from every other Android flagship on the market next year. Now, if you're thinking, wait, didn't Samsung already do this sensor before? Yes, the HP to sensor is not new, but this isn't just a recycled camera. Think of it more like a pro photographer upgrading their lens instead of their camera body. The tool is the same, but what it can capture, especially in poor lighting, improves dramatically, and this isn't. Just based on wild speculation, the source behind this news is Universus, one of the most reliable leakers in the mobile space. He's got a strong track record, and he seems very confident this change is locked in. What's especially interesting is how rare this F. One point for aperture is in the smartphone world. You'll find it in niche phones like the Honor Magic 7 Pro, and even going back to the Honor 20 Pro from 2019, but on a mainstream flagship like the Galaxy S26 Ultra? This is a power move. It suggests Samsung is serious about keeping the Ultra model at the top of the camera game, not just relying on megapixels. Of course, as with anything in tech, numbers aren't everything. A wider aperture doesn't automatically mean it'll blow the S25 Ultra out of the water. Image processing, software tuning, sensor size, stabilization, all of that plays a role. And until the phone is in real users' hands, we won't know how it all comes together, but this does give us an early clue that Samsung's not phoning it in with the S26 Ultra. That's been a concern for some, especially with all the buzz. Going toward the new Galaxy S to 6 Edge and the rumored Pro model replacing the S to 5, People were starting to worry that the Ultra might just be a slightly warmed over S25 Ultra with a new name. Now, there's also talk of the S26 Ultra getting slimmer, possibly continuing Samsung's trend of shaving down the chassis even more than the S25 Ultra. That could come at a cost, though. One rumor suggests the S Pen slot might be removed to make room for that thinner profile. If that happens, it'll definitely split opinions. For a lot of longtime Galaxy Note fans, the S Pen is a must-have, but for others, it's just added. Bulk they never use dot battery size, apparently, it's staying at 5,000 meters h. No change there. On paper, that might seem like a letdown, but remember, Samsung could squeeze more screen on time from that same battery thanks to improved power. Efficiency, especially with the next-gen Snapdragon 8 Elite to chip likely onboard. Software tuning and hardware synergy go a long way, and we've seen many examples where the same sized battery performs much better generation dash to dash generation. Overall, the S26 Ultra looks like it's shaping up to be a more subtle but smarter upgrade. If you only look at the spec sheet, it might not wow you minus 200MP sensor, same HP to branding, 5000 meters of H battery, but under the hood, things like the new F. One point for aperture and chipset optimizations could add up to a meaningful leap in user experience. Personally, I'm still keeping an eye on the Galaxy S to 6 Edge, which is rumored to get both a thinner build and a larger battery, a rare combo. But if you're someone who prioritizes camera performance, especially in less than perfect lighting, the S26 Ultra might end up being the dark horse winner of Samsung's 2026 lineup. And if this leak holds true, Samsung's message is clear. It's not just about new sensors, it's about refining the ones that already work and pushing them even further. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. See you in the next video. Take care.